Previously, we added background music and used fades to create auditory transitions from one clip to another. In this lesson, we're going to add video transitions and titles. Let's start out by adding a lower third title over Mitch to introduce him to our viewers. Move your play into where we first see Mitch in the interview. Now open the Titles browser, select the lower thirds category, and scroll down to the News theme. Skim over the slide in title to preview it. Drag the title above the Mitch clip until the left edge snaps to the playhead. Now move the playhead over the title and double click the name in the viewer and type out Mitch Keldorf H5 Productions. Then trim the tail of the title back 12 frames. And play back. The flight really began at a very young age. Nobody in my family really wanted to fly, it was just something I. Excellent. Now let's add a transition. Select the left edge of the Sabercat Flyby Connected Clip. From the Edit menu, select Add Cross Dissolve. Then trim the dissolve until it's 12 frames long. Let's see how that looks. I looked at the sky one time, saw an aircraft up there, and thought, wow, that must be incredible. Let's add another one. Open the Transitions browser and select the Movements category. You can preview any transition by skimming over its thumbnail. Drag the page curl transition onto the first edit point between Mitch Open's hangar and liftoff. Play that back. Now, option click to select the transition and park your playhead over it. In the viewer, you now have a set of control handles that will allow you to change the direction of the page curl to whatever you like. If you open the inspector, you can change the radius of the page curl and the backing color. A black backing will look best here, so go ahead and choose that for now. There's one more transition that was added in Final Cut Pro version 10.3 that is almost magical. Select the H5 cabin clip, then right click and choose Disable. You'll recall that we used this clip to hide the jump cut that was created when we removed a section of Mitch's dialog. In the Transitions browser, select the Dissolves category, locate the Flow transition, then drop it on the edit point where the jump cut occurs. Now play it back. But I think the love of flight really began at a very young age. Nobody... The jump cut is no longer visible because this transition fills in the missing frames and makes the edit appear as if there was never anything removed in the first place. Amazing! Let's add one more clip to complete our story of Mitch. In the browser, locate the clip titled Into Sunset. Drag out a range selection from just before we see the helicopter enter the frame and drag it to about four and a half seconds. The tooltip will show your selection length. With the clip selected, make sure the edit mode is set to All. Then click the Append Edit button to add the clip to the end of the storyline. Now select the tail of the clip we just added and press Command T to add a transition to the end. A cross dissolve is the default transition type in Final Cut Pro 10. Now drag out the music to match the end of the clip and play it back. The love of flight started really early for me. Awesome job. In the next video, we'll start adding effects to our video clips that will alter the feel of our project.